Hi everybody, welcome to another Creo tutorial, tutorial video. Today I'm going to use the Trial Creo Parametric 4.0 and I'm going to create a quick model of a car mock-up as you can see here. And yeah, in the new version there's really neat um, features, new features in freestyle we can create multiple uh, objects in freestyle so uh, there you go let's let's get started okay so freestyle is located here and we'll start with a rectangular shape Okay, I'll split it, split it on the side here and uh, maybe make it lower at the front. And I'll scale the top a bit smaller as well, something like that. Okay, we have this tool here that you can slice edges on. And I'll make the front round. That's a nice new tool, so pretty neat. Alright, so in the new features you can create multiple shapes, so I'm going to create another shape here and we have a um, feature tree here, so we've got multiple shapes, so you can modify multiple shapes in, in one environment which is very, very handy and you can modify both shape within the same environment, so um, that's very neat Okay, so for the roof, we're going to move this slightly in like that. And look for a car model and check out the size and proportion of your car model. And we'll do something quick like that. And I'll 
just add around here. Soft, soften those edges. And I'm just going to mirror that across. So I'll delete all of these bits. Let's try we select this edge and hold shift select that edge again it will create a loop for you um actually this some extra surfaces there tap right click to cycle through the selection hold shift and you can align that to a plane we'll align that to the front plane and connect it to make it a surface and then select this surface mirror select a plane and we're going to mirror that top bit across all right we'll go ahead and make the wheels as well so we're going to use a cylinder let's scale that down Just select the bottom base, turn the hardness to 100, it will look like that. Alright, so that's our first wheel, and I'm going to scale a little bit down a little bit just under the bonnet. Alright, there you go, and I'll make this bit um, scale this shape smaller. And we can duplicate that shape as well. You right click, duplicate, you can make a copy of that. We're going to drag that to the back. So we have our back wheel. So it's much more convenient in this version. There's lots of useful features, which is awesome. All right, there you go. That's a quick car model. And you can go ahead and adjust. Go go around and adjust the car and one last thing I'm going to show you is you can create you can join surfaces we can actually join surfaces together hmm. okay let me need to bring this down yep for each of the surfaces there's some rare and useful tool you can lock lock the models so you can't select them you can flip normals here on the right on the left flip the normals if it's not joining right and duplicate objects delete show hide objects as well which is awesome okay one last thing i want to do is i want to quickly create a sort of like a blending surface between the shape so let's say for these wheel arches i'm going to make a copy of that duplicate and i'm going to lock the previous wheel which is that wheel arch there all right so I'm gonna work with I'm gonna make a surface from here okay 
All right, there you go. Have a surface just there. I'm gonna add a quickly give a color to it so we can see it easier. Um, maybe I need to go out. All right, we just walk in here at the moment. All right, let's move this up. Let's move this across, so we'll bring this across here. And I'll make this side blend across the bottom here, so select like this edge. I can make it go like that. You can pl really play around and just make, make your design to fit what you need. So I'll try to make it blend with the top here. Alright, there you go, and you can actually mirror these across by selecti selecting the edges. I'm just going to select Let's select these edges Alright, I'm going to select these edges, extrude them across Actually, I need to delete the back face There you go, that's your surface, and I'll select like from here to here. All right, extract, extract that across, and then I'm going to align that, align that with this plane, and then with that, I can mirror that on that plane. And then I'll just hide these, bring these down so you don't see them. Alright, there you go, that's a quick car model in a couple minutes. And okay, I should delete these, eh? So there you go, that's a little arch model. But uh, I'm gonna bring back to my prepare model, which is much better. All right, there you go. That's the new features in in style. You can actually really join these surfaces with other surfaces as well, which is very neat. Let me try doing that now. So if I go to edit definition, and yes, yeah, so if I delete this one, If I select this edge and this edge, I can go connect. Actually, let me delete this. If I delete the surfaces here and go 
and then I can join this surface and this surface. So I, you can connect, or you can go join. Let me delete this one, this one, this one, this one, and select that edge and this edge. Connect. There you go. I just joined this um, car fenders with the front bonnet and becomes one part now which is awesome so that's the new features in freestyle it's very intuitive very um, easy to use you just simply uh, drag drop join remove um, very awesome that's it let me know if you have any questions leave the questions in the, the comment below have a great day bye